guys, welcome to another vlog. We are back. It's been a minute. I mean, I've had a few videos, but not like vlog videos. I kind of took, I was going to take a longer break, but there are some things that I wanted to do in today's video. So I thought I would film them in a casual vlog style video. So they're not going to be like dedicated videos of me showing how to do lashes or nails or anything like that. It's just going to be a super casual, chill at home me doing certain DIY beauty things and just sharing them in a video. So I have a few things that I wanted to do. I wanted to do my own nails. Well, I already have my nails done. I did nail extensions using Builder Gel. I've been really loving this method. So you can see it looks matte because there's no like top coat or anything. I still have to finish them off. So I want to go ahead and finish them in today's video. And then I also want to redo my lashes. These are the Ease from Lashify, which I really love, but it's time for them to go. This is like day 10. So I fixed a few of the outer lashes and I feel like they've held up really well, but I have to redo this set here. I tinted my eyebrows like a week ago. I know you can't tell, but because I don't have a lot of brow hairs, but I want to laminate them so that they're not, just laminate them. And then last but not least, I want to color my hair. So I've been bleaching my hair for the past, half a year or so. I started off with the silicone cap where I did like all over highlights and that really brightened up my hair. The problem with that is you can't really do touch-ups. It's very difficult because you don't want to double process the hair. You don't want to be bleaching over already bleached hair. So I think it's a lot easier to do touch-ups without the silicone cap so I tried face framing highlights last time if you guys watched that video we had a bit of a mishap where I kind of overdid it but now it's grown out and a lot of my natural colors peeking through and I don't really love how it looks like I love when my hair is brighter especially around the face I feel like it adds a lot more life and I just I just prefer it so today we're going to try a new technique when you guys recommended in a comment it was the I think it's called an airbrush technique where you use a hair dryer like you'll take a section of hair and you'll hold a hair dryer against it and a lot of the baby hairs will kind of fly out of the way and then you just color whatever's left over so I want to try that around the face frame and then maybe a few here just to kind of lighten up the hair a little bit because it's it's getting pretty dark so that's what we're gonna do in today's video if you guys are interested just gonna be super casual chill Nothing fancy, vlog style. Ooh, the sun's coming out. Yay! Ah, love that. But I wanted to pick up the camera and kind of get this vlog going while the kids are sleeping, before the chaos begins, and all of the noise and all of that. Have a moment to myself to kind of like start this vlog. So I'm gonna have a moment to myself with my coffee and then take you guys along this whole DIY situation I just talked about. So we are on the second coffee of the day. It's basically lunchtime and I'm gonna start off with the hair. So I'm thinking to do the hair first and then once I'm done with that I'll do like brows, lashes, and finish off with the nails. My hair is not freshly washed so whenever you're using any lightening products, bleach, you don't really want to have super fresh hair. It's better to have some oils in your hair to kind of prevent or at least minimize, minimize some of that damage. So this is like day three here right here. You can see it's grown out quite a bit, even from the last time that I did it. I just did the face framing right here and it's grown out quite a bit. So I'm ready to kind of touch that up and really help bring some brightness to the face. So I'm thinking to do kind of like these sections here and then maybe a little bit right here to brighten it up a little bit as well, we'll see. I do have some tape and extensions in. If you have any kind of extensions in, and you're going to be coloring your hair, it's best to do it when you take them out, color your hair, and then put them back in. But I'm not going to be coloring my hair anywhere near the tape ins, so I'll be good. Let me show you guys what I use. So I use the Schwarzkopf, Schwarzkopf is it? The Blonde Me 9 Plus Lightener and Developer. I got this as a bundle on Amazon. It's kind of hard to come by. I was trying to link it in another video and it seems to be out of stock. I don't know where else you can get it, but I have the 9 Plus Lightener and then the 30 Volume Developer. I probably wouldn't recommend 30 Volume Developer, and from what I've read, a lot of people say you don't need that strong of a developer for this lightening powder, but I bought it as a bundle, so just what I use, I just kind of decrease the time that I have it in my hair. I also got some foil sheets to make my life so much easier. I have a rat tail comb here. And then for toner, I'm going to be using the Color Charm T18 toner once again. I tried T14. I don't know, it didn't really give me like the whiteness that I wanted, so I'm going to go back to T18 and I actually picked up a 
10 volume developer this time because for toner you do not need a strong developer some people even use like seven so i just got the matching wella color charm 10 volume developer just for the toner and then i have this little kit right here this is a silicone cap that i used it didn't come with this but i just put it in here and this kit kit is like a dye tool it has a mixing bowl measuring cup a couple of brushes basically everything that you need in order to mix the product and everything so i got everything on amazon so i will link it down below if you guys do want to do your hair at home i'm kind of comfortable doing my own hair at home and trying these things out on my own hair but if you're not then definitely seek a professional but just thought i would share how it is that i'm going to do it in today's video i also have my shark flex style right here this is what i'm going to use for the hair dryer portion and the technique that somebody mentioned i believe it's airbrush i haven't let me just look it up to make sure 100 percent all right it's called air touch technique and i've looked at a few videos this is going to be my first time trying it what you do is you take a sliver of hair let's say like this you blow dry it against the hair so let me do that real quick that's probably not the best demonstration but do you see how some hair kind of got out of the way and then you would just highlight this growth right here let me section off the hair first before i mix any product because once you mix the product i feel like it's go time so i'm going to leave this for last and i'm going to do sections this way don't forget your gloves and then i probably wouldn't recommend wearing clothes that you like just in case you drip it onto the clothes i love these pajamas so i'm just gonna try to be really careful i'm gonna be doing a one to two ratio so in my mixing bowl i'm gonna do one part bleach lightning powder and two parts developer i don't have a lot of hair that i'm gonna be lightening i'll probably do like one ounce lightning powder two ounces of the developer because i feel like last time i really wasted a lot of product i had a lot of product left over i'm just doing like the front here and then maybe a little bit on the top nothing too crazy so that's about one ounce and then two ounces of the developer <laughs> i feel like even this honestly is probably too much give it a good mix until it's all nice and blended and smooth okay i have a pretty good consistency going here so I'm going to set that to the side for a second and I'm going to work on my sections. I'm going to take a little bit of a smaller section and then brush the rest of this out of the way. Blow dry it to get the shorter, newer growth out of the way. By the way, I took off my gloves because it was hard to do this. But what this does is it pushes the shorter growth, newer growth out of the way and just leaves the older growth. So I feel like this is a pretty pretty decent section here. So I have my foil wrapped around the red tail part of the comb or whatever it's called. And I'm gonna push this foil up against the root as much as possible. We're just gonna do it. All right, so that was one section and as you guys saw i did not double process so i did not bring the bleach over the part of my hair that was already bleached because you don't want to double process it so i kind of just brought it down to the old bleach or the previous bleach um, so we have one section let's do one more and i'm doing these vertically because i kind of want to do face framing not so much all over highlights So I don't know if you guys can see, it kind of like pushes the newer growth out of the way, it pushes it back, and you're just left with, this section's definitely a lot better, you're left with the older growth. So let me grab another piece of foil, wrap it around my rat tail comb, like so, hold it against the roots, as close to the roots as possible, and then just color the outgrown portion of the hair that grew out. I just 
actually guys, I lost the lash. These lashes are definitely ready to go. All right, so I was just gonna do two sections per side here and I'm gonna repeat the same exact thing on this side here. Now moving on to this section here, I'm basically going to do the same exact thing, I feel like I accidentally put these a little bit too high, but I'm going to work vertically. So I'm going to start off in the front here, and I, one thing that I noticed with the air touch technique is that it helps to keep the hair dryer going in one direction. So what I mean by that is, let's say this is a section here, don't go from the top and then from underneath because then I feel like you'll have hair from both sides. Kind of try to stick to keeping the hair dryer on one side of the hair. Okay, so this is what kind of got out of the way. And this is what I'm left with. Position your foil up against the root and then just color the part of your hair that grew out. Make sure you're fully saturating it so you're kind of going this way and then crisscross. We have one section down up here. I think I'm gonna do, let's do maybe like two more. My hair dryer is on cool shot by the way. I mean, it's like on cool, it's not, there's like no heat to it really. another lash like I'm 99% sure I just don't know where it went I was like flailing as I was blow drying so I'm happy with the sectioning here I think what I'm gonna do now is part my hair down the middle like I usually do and I think I'm gonna do one small section here one small section here best way to do this is to hold the hair dryer at the top so if I'm gonna be coloring up here, you want to hold the hair dryer up top so that the hair falls underneath. All right, so it's been 20 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and take these out. All right, I washed out the bleach. And I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty nervous at what the results are going to look like because it's looking kind of spotty. I'm thinking the airbrush technique, I'm not a professional, so I should have left it to the professionals. But I think I mentioned you do one-to-one -one toner to developer, but it's actually one-to-two. So I'm going to do one part toner, two parts of the developer, and apply it to damp hair. Let it develop for about 20 minutes, wash it out, blow dry my hair, and show you guys the end result. guys here is the after the hair looks so much brighter it is not perfect there are a few things that I'm like okay I gotta get better at for example I left the bleach in the sides here a little bit too long so it's definitely the lightest here it looks really nice when it's down like this and blended but it is a little bit lighter than I wanted especially with the toner I feel like the toner made certain areas a little bit too white but it'll kind of balance out with the time and it really helped give like my entire hairline around my face like really brighten it up. When I part it, that's when you can see some of the mistakes, if you will. When I go like this, do you see how 
like right here. I don't know. Like it's not bad. It's not professional results. But I think for next time I'll know. When it's from the side here, I really like the results. Like I feel like everything is blended so nice. When I pick it up like this, I actually like like the color here. I feel like it's really nicely blended. It's just when I part it. I mean, it's not bad. I think just the toner also differentiates it. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Do you see how just those few pieces really help to brighten up my whole head? My whole head? My whole head of hair. <laughs> so I don't have to do like all over highlights. I literally just did two pieces here and then like three sections back to back here in the front and then it probably could have gotten away with this but I really wanted to brighten it up and that right there just made such a huge huge difference okay so we have the hair now I'm gonna work on laminating the brows for the brows it's gonna be a long video like I said and I'm sorry bear with me we are DIY beauty all the way I have this kit here from Ariana New York and I also have their brow tint which I might touch up the tint Nah, I think I'm gonna keep the tint the way it is because I literally just tinted my eyebrows like a week ago And this kit is so easy to use and I love that they're single use packets You can like do it with your sister if you wanted to you're not like dipping in the same bottle It's just little sachets in every single one I'm not really gonna do an in-depth how-to to laminate the brows because I do actually have a video of how I did that When I was when I just bought this kit to try it out That's basically like you apply the lift let it sit for like six eight minutes with some um, plastic wrap over it, take that off, then apply the fix, leave that on for like six to eight minutes, take that off, and then you use the nutrition. So it's like a three step process. Well, technically, two, the nutrition is like the third step. So it's just these two steps right here. It's very easy to use, very user friendly. So I'll link this kit below because I do think it's a really good kit and gives me a pretty decent results. So this is what the brows look like before. Kind of just brush them up. Okay, this first step helps to soften the brows and it smells so bad. Make sure that when you apply the plastic film, that your brow hairs are kind of in the direction that you want them to be. I removed the lift cream. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the fix cream. And this is what is going to actually hold the brows in place. Grab a clean spoolie and brush them up. Make sure you're brushing them how you want them because that's kind of how they're gonna end up staying. Ooh, this tingles a little bit. Why are you putting that on your head? And my eyebrows. All right. The brows are all done. I'm gonna grab some of my magic primer and kind of clean up the solution and then apply the nourish oil. And that's it. Alright, so obviously they're not filled in right now, but this is kind of the end result. What I'm going to do right now is remove these lashes that I have here, apply some makeup, fill in the brows, and then we're going to apply some new lashes. We're almost done. I just got to do my lashes and, wait, no, I wanted to do my nails as well. Alright, you know what, we're going to scrap the nails because this video is going to be way too long. I'm not sure what I want to do in terms of design anyway, but here are the brows kind of filled in. So this way I don't have to use a brow setter for a few weeks and they kind of stay this way, just kind of fill them in if they're not tinted all the way. But for lashes, I'm going to use the D Plus from Lashify. So they're plus lashes. I think they have like a more weightless band if I'm not mistaken. It's still a little bit stiff, like it's that same stiff band, but it seems like it's a little bit thinner. I've never tried D's, so I really can't really compare these to the originals. But I got these because I wanted to try D's finally. And the D's have like these thicker, more bold type fibers. Almost like mascara but better. So to start, I'm going to grab the black side of the double-sided Whisper Light Glue from Lash5, which is not this side. This one here with the Micro Mascara Wand. And dab some along the base of my natural lashes. And then I'm going to take the clear side and I'm going to apply this to the top of the lash band of the cluster. See that little strip of glue? And then just apply them underneath. I'm going to start from the outer corner, work to the inner corner. Apply it as close to the root of your natural lashes as possible, but don't touch the waterline. And then follow the curve, natural curve of your eye shape. Now I'm going to repeat these steps for all the rest of them. Okay, here are what the lashes look like. Just like a bold, but simple bold. I don't know, they are nice. Not too bad. And we are finally done. I feel like the hair portion took the longest. Probably should have done just a vlog for the hair, but I mean, I'm actually really happy 
how it came out and how bright it is because I feel like my hair has grown out so much that it was just making me look so, I don't know, like this just makes me look so much more lively and I love it so much more but I'm going to finish the video here because I feel like I've been doing this all day. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Hope you enjoyed and I really hope to see you guys in future videos.